Hi folks, I want to take this chance to talk to you about the COVID-19 vaccination programme. The needles going into our arms every day by the hundreds of thousands, saving lives, protecting the people we love, and finally offering real hope. After the tragedy of the last year, after the unbearable loss of more than 100,000 lives, and we mourn everyone, these remarkable medicines are giving us a realistic way forward to restart our businesses, our lives. And these miracle vaccines also contain a lesson about our future as a country, about jobs and growth and skills, and how we're going to learn from this appalling pandemic and build back better. There are all kinds of people I want to thank from the bottom of my heart. I want to pay a special tribute to all the staff of our amazing NHS, doing the lion's share of the work. And also our armed forces, local authority staff, our pharmacists, volunteers, all powering this remarkable rollout. There's also another group without whom none of this would be possible, and that is the scientists. Because today, human genius and ingenuity are beating COVID in a way that I find both moving and astonishing. If you'd said to me a year ago that we would find a British vaccine for COVID as soon as this, frankly, I wouldn't have believed you. And yet within a year of the emergence of this dreadful disease, we have Oxford AstraZeneca and Pfizer-BioNTech and more on the way. How did it happen? The government set up the vaccine task force. We invested in the research, including multiple trials to test for safety. We constructed British vaccine-making facilities. We made sure we were ready to give rapid approvals and we ensured the UK would strongly support that effort globally, especially in the developing world. The government made big bets on all the most likely looking vaccines, those that would be most effective and safe. But we knew the government could not hope to succeed alone. We depend for these life-saving drugs on the private sector, on the instincts and know-how of wealth creators, people who are willing to invest money to take risks on new ideas. And without that willingness to take risk, we won't see the innovation we need to beat COVID and so many other diseases. And that, in a nutshell, is the formula for our country's prosperity in the years to come. A strong and active government investing massively in science and technology, coupled with a dynamic enterprise economy. That's how we will create jobs, not just in biosciences, but in technology of all kinds, and especially green technology. And we'll do so across the whole of the UK, across England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. These vaccines show us how we can beat the pandemic. They show the importance of UK science and technology in the jobs of the future. They show us the way ahead.